All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we've got the Rolex Explorer 1, the 214-270, this is the 39 millimeter. It's one of the newest additions out there. This is a pre-owned watch, a 2018 model. This watch came to me by way of CW Watch Shop. Guys, if you're looking for this watch or another luxury watch in your life, check the links down below in the description to CW Watch Shop and see if they have something over there for you. So, guys, really impressive piece. Now, this one is full box and papers, the box paperwork warranty card. Everything is down there in the box below. But let's talk specs on this watch. Really impressive piece. Now, this is, of course, a 39 millimeter case side from side to side. 47.3 is what I measure lug tip to lug tip. Comes in at a nice slim 11.3 millimeters of thickness from the case back to the top of the sapphire crystal. And I did measure 20 millimeter lugs on this watch. Oyster steel case is being employed. You have white gold indices all the way around on the watch. Nice big bold three, six and nine there in white gold also. Really, really done nicely. Clean dial here with the Rolex Explorer Oyster Perpetual up here at the 12 o'clock. Explore superlative chronometer and officially certified. I've got a little bit of a dust there on the glass, so let's wipe that off. Now, this is your typical uh, Explorer dial, classic Explorer 1 dial. Um, you have the 369. Now, one of the things I've done on these later models is all of this has the chromatic loom in it, so stick around to the end for the loom shot. The polishing on the watch, done very, very well, and this watch is in incredible shape, as you guys can see here, taking a close look at the watch. Again, this watch is available for purchase. This is a pre-owned 2018 model. I'll try to get you guys all the different angles so you can really see how nice condition this watch is in. Taking a look at the bezel, there's no real marks on the bezel. The case sight is immaculate. Your coronet there on the crown is in really great shape. A few fingerprints, but those are mainly from me. This nice oyster steel bracelet here, guys. These taper from uh, 20 down to, I do believe, 18. I think these are a little bit uh, thicker than the Oyster Perpetual. Let's zoom out a little bit, but we'll check out the clasp assembly. Fold over safety here. Very nice crisp action on the buckle. And like you have on the recent Datejust that I, or not Datejust, but the Oyster Perpetual that I looked at, you do have that five millimeter comfort extension in case you have a little bit of swelling and you want to get the watch looser on you. Classic, classic Rolex styling here, guys. These were, watches were made uh, famous, of course, at Sir Edmund Hillary and his uh, conquest of Mount Everest. He actually wore a, a, it was an Oyster Perpetual before they were called the Explorer. So they brought up this Explorers actually after that event, um, commemorating the event really and, and you know, dedicating the watches to that. So this is a great piece. Let's go ahead and get this watch on my seven inch wrist and then stick around, guys. Let's go out with that loom shot. All right, so here's the watch on my seven inch wrist. This 39 millimeter case fits very, very well. Looks great on the wrist, especially with that short 47 lug to lug. Now, one thing I didn't mention to you earlier in the video is the movement. This is running the 3132. Uh, basically, it's a it's a no date movement of the 3135 movement. Uh, this movement was introduced in 2008 by Rolex. It's got a parachrome hairspring. You've got your para, para flex shock absorption system in it. This is a 48 hour power reserve watch, so it is lower than the newer uh, 3230 movements, but it's really, really well made tried and true movement here for Rolex. So let's go ahead and dim the lights and check out the loom on this one. All right, so one of the most wonderful things about the Explorer is the legibility of the dial. And now that they've loomed the three, the six and the nine, it really, really makes a big difference. I think it looks spectacular on this watch. This chromatic dial, the blue loom, it just, it's impressive, impressive watch. And if you guys are looking for a stainless steel, you know, Rolex in your life, I think the Explorer 1 is definitely some place to go. No nonsense. Get it done. Three-hander watch. You don't have anything else fussing up the dial. Extremely legible. 100 meters water resistance is going to make this truly an adventure watch. Pretty much can do anything you want to. I mean, guys conquered Everest in these watches, so it can probably get through your day at the office, guys. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.